NPC, it is a lifestyle, much like destination. It is a community, much like destinations. We have a large scope of people, and I'm fortunate today to have three pros, and there are many pros in the house, and so some that I can see, some that I can't, so I'm not going to go through a whole list of names. But the MPC is, is the foundation. It's where you start to head to that pro card level. It is sometimes an effort that takes many, many, many years. Uh, one of my better judges and a good friend, where she at? Sheila Brown. Sheila, raise your hand. Many of you know Sheila. Sheila competed at the MPC level, and this is only to, to demonstrate tenacity. And that's what the MPC is. That's what Destination's about. It's hardcore pushing 24 years on the NPC stage before winning her pro card. Talk about never giving up. That's a woman that speaks for itself. 24 years in the NPC before going on to get that pro card. Not only did she win her pro card, but she was Miss USA of the women's physique. So if you're going to win, win big and take the USA. So congratulations, Sheila. Also with me today is Tony Eubanks, IFBB King Pro, and of course my lovely wife, Jen Thompson, who are going to be working with me along with Jason Poston, one of the IFBB Men's Physique Pros. So you, you've got a some pros up here who are going to be working with me throughout this seminar. What this seminar is, is we're going to talk about, one, what is the MPC? What does it do? How does it work? How does it function? How do contests work? How do we select those contests? What are the criteria for each one of these divisions? Because that's confusion. How do you go about registering? What are the timelines? About every question that I get at least 30 times a day via email or phone call. And we're going to talk a little bit about training, nutrition, and most importantly, posing. The most famous quote that I'll have for you today deals with posing. <clears throat> Lee Haney, most of you know I do a radio show called Pro Bodybuilding Worldwide every Monday where we interview and we do nothing but talk about pro bodybuilding. With that said, I also introduce as Jen as a new co-host of Pro Bodybuilding, or excuse me, Pro Body Talk. Pro Body Talk is going to be on muscular development every Monday night right after Pro Bodybuilding Weekly. It's going to talk about everything other than bodybuilding, bikini, fitness, figure, and men's and women's physique. So it's a great show. Listen to it February 1st. The very first guest is Mr. Olympia Mark Anthony, men's physique. So Jen and her co-host will, will be there every Monday. We're going to talk about the competition stage, not just at the pro level like we do on pro bodybuilding worldwide, but at the NPC level. So you want to tune in, to go to the NBC site, you'll be able to listen to it. With that said, the MPC is about competition. It's the grassroots. It's where you start. First thing that you do is you select a contest. You can go to those of you who live and reside in Texas which or want to compete in Texas, which I assume most of you do that are here, is go to thompsonmusclecontest.com. Right there is going to be a schedule of all the contests. For competitors, there's nothing more important than picking a contest with the exception of one thing. And that quote that I was going to tell you was I interviewed Lee Haney on the show. And I said, Lee, when do you start posing? And he turned and he responded and he said, Lee, when do I stop posing is the question. And I was like, when do you stop posing? He's, you pose 12 months a year. Posing is about projection. You have to be able to project your body around its flaws. You have to be able to project yourself to be bigger than you are. He was a bodybuilder. And that pertains to every division, and we're going to talk about the importance of posing. But I thought that was the most interesting statement an eight-time Mr. Olympia could make, was that when does he stop posing? So the MPC is about all those things. You're going to go online, you're going to register for your card, you're going to select a contest, you join the membership. That, that membership card is, is primarily an insurance policy for us, it also makes you part of the group. It allows you to compete. It brings you into the network. The card is purchased. It's good from January to December. It renews every year. You're allowed to compete with that. You start at a grassroots level show. A lot of people go 
where do I begin? I'm a beginner, I've never competed. Any show on that list you're eligible to compete in. There are some shows that you'll see are national qualifiers. There's one show that you'll see as a regional qualifier. And then there are other shows that are just simply shows. What is the difference? There's, there's basically three different levels. At the, the regular shows, the Lone Star, the Heart, um, the Central Texas, those are shows for more of your novice novice, your true novice competitors, because there's no qualification to move forward, to advance to the next level. They're great shows to do for stage presence, for poise, for presentation, to see how you fit in, to see how you feel in a particular division, to see how you stand up or stack up against other competitors. You can move to a regional qualifier, which we only have one, and it's down in Corpus Christi. Regional qualifier, the overall winner in each division, bodybuilding, figure fitness, uh, figure and bikini and physique, moves on to be able to compete at the Junior Nationals or the Junior USA. There are pro cards there. A national qualifying event, such as the Phil Heath, March 15th, you don't want to forget, coming right up, where all of you have plenty of time to enter, is a contest in if, which you place, and the rules have changed now, specifically for bodybuilding, where if you place in that, the top three are eligible to go on to the USA, the bottom two, or fourth and fifth, are qualified to go to the juniors. Bodybuilding now used to be they had a two-year, or excuse me, a one-year. Now they're also eligible for the, excuse me, theirs was a, a one-year, is now eligible for it. The year that they win the show, so if you won the field this year, you place one through third, you're eligible for nationals all through the balance of this year into 2015 through December of 2015. That's your eligibility. So a national qualifier in all categories allows those top three competitors to move on to the USA's, the Nationals, the North Americans, okay? There are Team Universe qualifiers. Team Universe or qualifiers are tested shows. At Team Universe, only the winners are tested. So people ask about you know, who's tested and what's tested. Only the winners are tested. At the local level shows, here we have two, the Shredder and the Naturals. The classes have random testing throughout, so you can compete in those. But those are, are the levels in which you can compete. Once you get to the national level and you're competing at the USA, the Nationals, the Juniors, you are competing for a pro card. Okay, that's taking you to the IFBB, the International Federation of Bodybuilding, the Pro League as we call it. Once you've achieved the Pro League status, as Jen and Tana have, then you're competing worldwide and globally. So that's the progressive nature. Is everybody following me there? Any questions on how it progresses or what you're qualified to do or what you're not qualified to do? Okay, so that's the, that's the first step, is picking your contest. 